Hello everyone, Yom Yerushalayim Sameach, a happy Yom Yerushalayim. I wanted to wait till it was night here in Israel in order to record this. And the davening on Yom Yerushalayim is dedicated, of course, to the memory of Lucy Maya and Rina D. Hashem Yikom Damam. On this 43rd day of the Omer, we celebrate the amazing miracles of the Six-Day War, and most importantly, above and beyond them, the fact that the entire Jerusalem returned to Jewish hands. However, every year on Yom Yerushalayim, it seems to me that this is not the case. Namely, the only ones that celebrate Yom Yerushalayim are the religious Zionists, that particular tribe within Israel. The Haredim don't, unfortunately, and neither do the Chilonim. And I just want to describe a scene to you from within a religious Zionist community on Yom Yerushalayim. On the night of Yom Yerushalayim, the chazan gets up and does what's called a tefillah chagigit, a festive davening. You can have the most amazing chazan with the most beautiful voice. You can be in the most lit shul with the perfect air conditioner. And yet it is the most hilarious scene. You're davening a nigan of yontif, and everyone's dressed in their weekday clothing. And I don't blame a shul. I don't blame a chazen. I don't blame any davener for this. I blame one entity, and that is the state of Israel in which I reside. If this day, Yom Yerushalayim, would have been a day off, I believe that the majority of Israel would celebrate. As a matter of fact, the Gemara says, Yerushalayim no need chalkalish fatim. While all of Israel was divided to different tribes, so Reuven had their share, Shimon had their share, Yehuda had a share, Benjamin had a share. Not so regarding certain parts of Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim? Lo nitchalkalishvatim. By definition, Yerushalayim was not divided like the rest of Israel because it's supposed to belong to all of Israel. And until this day is a day off, that won't happen. If it's a day off, people will say, why? They'll say, oh, because of Yerushalayim. So we're happy that we have Yerushalayim. Others will hopefully daven appropriately with the proper halal, with the proper nigun. But I can promise you one thing, that if that happens, then the same feelings that we conjure up on Yom Ha'atzma'ut, which is a day off, will be conjured up all the more so on Yom Yerushalayim. Because unlike 1948, far away, many of us have neighbors, have friends that fought in the Six-Day War, can explain to you what it was like to be in clear and present danger before and in six days an amazing miracle. Amazing things happened. Until, indeed, Yom Yerushalayim is a day off. I don't see people changing their clothing into festive clothing in honor of this day. And unfortunately, this day will remain the pure view of a very specific tzibur in Israel and not of all of Israel. If you make it a day off, everyone will celebrate. And Be'ezrat Hashem, I hope that the next time we speak on Yom Yerushalayim, I can give a totally different davening on Yom Yerushalayim, saying it's a day off, we felt festive, and now we can go further with other aspirations. Wishing everyone a significant day, and most importantly, in any way you celebrate, thank God for the miracles that happened then that we're still benefiting from today.